Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's match, I wanted to talk about this video's sponsor, Marvel Strike Force. It's a perfect way to spend a little time when you're waiting for your next CEDH pod to fire. It's a free-to-play turn-based RPG featuring nearly 200 of your favorite Marvel characters. It's super easy to pick up and play, and I liked being able to do something while waiting for the Gitrog player to demonstrate their loot. As a CDH player, what really drew me into the game was the depth of play offered. There are synergies between different characters, like Avengers, Spider-Verse, or the X-Men. Just as each player at your local playgroup has their own style, characters in the game have different types too. You can play with Brawlers, Controllers, Blasters, and Protectors, all with different roles on your team and approaches to battle. Just as we like to upgrade our own CEDH decks with the latest tech, there are awesome ways to level up your characters in the game. Features like promotions, gear, and training all make your characters better. Just as there are a million different formats in Magic so you'll never get bored, there are a ton of ways to leverage your teams. This includes story campaigns, blitz campaigns where you take on other players' teams, and raids that let you team up with other players to tackle a bunch of challenges. It's free to download and free to play, and it is super fun. I've recently assembled my full Avengers team for my Heroes campaign, and now I'm working on my Sinister Six team for my Villains campaign as well. Check out Marvel Strike Force for free by checking out our link in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Sean piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Bruce Tarl Boorish Herder. This deck, titled Dawn Waker Thrasios, aims to be the most mid-range deck at the table. It plays key value pieces, interaction, and goes for the win after stopping the turbo players. Sean's opening hand contains a Scalding Tarn, Volcanic Island, Tundra, Elvish Mystic, Veil vale of Summer, Swords to Plowshares, and a Force of Vigor. Next, we have Zane piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Keenite Navigator and Vile Smasher the Fierce. Zane is the master of all things Malcolm, and tonight he has brought one of his brews, Dark Malcolm. This deck is very similar to his classic Malcolm lists, but utilizes Vile Smasher for the color black. It still wins with Glenhorn Buccaneer shenanigans, but it uses a black suite of explosive and powerful cards to get there faster. Zane's opening hand contains a Simeon Spirit Guide, Verdant Catacombs, Soul Ring, Glenhorn Buccaneer, Fierce Guardianship, Arcane Signet, and his London Mulligan is a Grim Monolith. After that, we have Noah piloting the partner pair of Quark the Thumbless and Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. You know it, you love it, or hate it, it's Quark. This deck seeks to cast both of its commanders and use their powerful ability to repeatedly cast spells until it can assemble a win. Noah's opening hand contains a Quark's Thumb, Mox Diamond, Soul Ring, Cyclonic Rift, Geist Wave, City of Brass, and a Cascade Bluffs. Finally, we have Cal piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Keenite Navigator and Tana the Bloodsower. This deck, called Teamer Pirates, works in a very similar way to Zane's deck, but it uses green spells to have better access to creature tutors. It also uses Glenhorn Buccaneer to win the game. Cal's opening hand contains Aspire of Industry, Mox Diamond, Lanaware Elves, Dualcaster Mage, March of Swirling Mists, Professional Facebreaker, and a Tropical Island. Without further ado, let's begin this backwoods baffling bamboozle of barefoot bargaining. Sean wins the four Curious Control Pod subgame challenge and gets to start us off. Sean draws a card for turn and casts a Mox Diamond, discarding a Volcanic Island. He plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He passes. Zane draws a card for turn and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Soul Ring. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand and adds a red. He casts Lightning Rig Crew. He passes. Noah draws and plays a City of Brass. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Cascade Bluffs. He taps the City of Brass to help cast Soul Ring. He casts his commander, Kark the Thumbless. He ships the turn. Cal draws and plays a Spire of Industry. He also casts Mox Diamond, discarding Tropical Island. Zane suddenly feels very left out, and Cal casts Lanaware Elves. He passes. Sean draws and plays a Tundra. He casts Sylvan Library. All finished up, he ships the turn to Zane. During Zane's upkeep, Sean casts Force of Vigor for its alternate cost, exiling a green card, targeting both Zane's and Noah's Soul Rings. In response, Zane hard casts Fierce Guardianship, targeting Force of Vigor. In response, Sean casts Veil of Summer. Veil resolves, and Sean draws. Fierce fizzles, and Force of Vigor resolves, destroying both Soul Rings. Zane draws, curses Sean's name, takes no other actions, and gives the turn to Noah. Noah draws, and also curses Sean's name. He taps his City of Brass to help cast Quark's Thumb. He passes. Cal draws and casts Ristic Study. Cal passes. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He plays a Waterlog Grove for turn. He casts a Mana Crypt, paying for Ristic. Sean passes. At the end of Sean's turn, Zane activates Lightning Rig Crew, and each opponent takes one. The turn moves to Zane. Zane draws and casts a Mana Vault. Ristic triggers, and Cal draws. All finished up, Zane passes. 
Noah draws, takes no actions, and passes. Cal draws and plays the Gemstone Caverns. He taps his Spire of Industry to help cast Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. He casts his Commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. He passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing an Eldritch Evolution into his hand. The turn moves to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. He casts Finehorn Elves. He passes. At the end of Sean's turn, Zane activates Lightning Rig Crew and each opponent takes one. Zane draws and casts his Commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. Lightning Rig Crew and Rhystic Trigger. Zane pays for Rhystic and, holding priority, activates Lightning Rig Crew, pinging each opponent for one. In response, Sean casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Lightning Rig Crew. Rhystic Triggers and Cal draws. Swords resolves and Lightning Rig Crew is exiled. Zane passes. At the end of Zane's turn, Noah casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Kinnon. Kark and Rhystic Trigger. Noah taps the City of Brass to help pay for Rhystic. Noah flips twice through Kark's thumb, ignoring one flip. He flips two tails, curses Sean's name again for some reason no one understands, and then the turn moves to Noah. Noah draws and casts Lightning Bolt, again targeting Kinnon. Kark and Rhystic Trigger. Cal draws and Noah flips for Kark. He double flips and chooses Copy. Kark copies Lightning Bolt and the Copy targets Cal's Malcolm. Both Lightning Bolts resolve and Malcolm and Kinnon are destroyed. Noah passes. Cal draws and casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks it to help cast his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. He casts Finehorn Elves. He taps his Spire of Industry to help cast Mystic Remora. In response, Sean casts Delay, targeting Mystic Remora. Rhystic triggers and Sean pays. Delay resolves, countering and exiling Mystic Remora with three time counters on it. Cal ends his turn. During his upkeep, Sean wins his Mana Crypt roll. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. He casts Ranger Captain of Eos, paying for Rhystic. It enters and he fetches up an Esper Sentinel into his hand. He taps his Flooded Grove to help cast Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Ranger Captain as an additional cost. Rhystic triggers and Cal draws. In response, Noah casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Eldritch Evolution. Kark and Rhystic trigger. Noah taps the City of Brass to help pay for Rhystic. Then Noah flips twice, choosing heads. Kark copies his Fierce and he targets Eldritch. In response, Sean casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting the Fierce Guardianship copy. Rhystic triggers and Cal draws. SWAT resolves, redirecting the Fierce copy to the original Fierce Guardianship. Fierce counters Fierce, and Eldritch resolves. Sean fetches up a Seaborn Muse onto the battlefield. The table knows this is trouble, and Sean passes the turn. Sean untaps with Zane through Seaborn. During his draw step, Zane takes a damage through his Mana Vault. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Malcolm. Sean takes it, and Malcolm triggers, creating a treasure. Zane passes. At the end of Zane's turn, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Flusterstorm into his hand. Sean untaps with Noah. Noah draws and casts Gamble, Kark and Rhystic Trigger. In response to both, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a crop rotation into his hand. Cal draws off of Rhystic and Noah flips twice, losing both flips. Noah taps the City of Brass to cast Gamble again. Kark and Rhystic Trigger. Cal draws off of Rhystic and Noah flips twice, choosing Copy this time. His Copy resolves and he fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Heat Shimmer. Then the original resolves and he fetches up another card into hand and then randomly discards a Submerge. With nothing else, Noah passes the turn. During his upkeep, Cal removes a Suspend counter from Mystic Remora. He draws and plays a Guide as Cradle. He casts Twin Flame, targeting Malcolm. He holds priority and exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He taps his Spire of Industry to help flash in a Dual Caster Mage. In response, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Temple Garden onto the battlefield tapped. Then Dual Caster enters and targets Twin Flame. In response, Sean casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Dual Caster, paying for Rhystic. Dualcaster is destroyed, and then the Dualcaster's trigger resolves, creating a copy of Twin Flame, targeting Finehorn Elves. Both Twin Flames resolve, and Cal creates a copy of both creatures, with his copy of Malcolm getting sacked immediately. Plans foiled, Cal attacks Sean with Malcolm. Sean takes it, and Malcolm triggers, creating a treasure. In his second main phase, he casts Ledger Shredder. Cal passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Zane casts Alchemist Retrieval, targeting his own Mana Vault. Rhystic triggers, and Cal draws. Mana Vault is bounced, and the turn moves to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. He plays an island for turn. He casts Esper Sentinel, paying for Rhystic. He casts his other commander, Bruce Tarl, Boris Herder. Rhystic triggers and Cal draws. Bruce Tarl enters and gives Seedborn Muse double strike and lifelink until end of turn. He moves to combat and attacks Noah with Seedborn Muse. Noah takes it and Sean gains four. Sean passes. Zane draws and immediately moves to combat. He attacks Sean with Malcolm. Sean takes it, and Zane creates a treasure through Malcolm. In his second main phase, he recasts Mana Vault. Rhystic and Esper trigger. Sean and Cal both draw, and then Zane ships the turn. Noah draws and taps the City of Brass to help cast Dockside Extortionist. Rhystic triggers, and Cal draws. In response, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a worldly tutor into his hand. 
Then Dockside resolves and Noah creates 9 treasures. He plays a Mana Confluence. He taps it to help cast his other commander, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. Ristic and Ledger Shredder trigger. Cal draws off of Ristic and then connives from Ledger Shredder, discarding a Breeding Pool. In response to Sakashima, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield tapped. Then Sakashima resolves and enters as a copy of Krark. Noah casts Geist Wave, targeting his own Dockside. Krark, Sakashima, Ristic, and Esper trigger. Sean draws off of Esper, then Noah pays for Ristic, and in response to both Krark triggers, Zane casts Ad Nauseam. Ristic and Esper trigger, and Sean and Cal draw. Then Ad Nauseam resolves. Zane reveals a Talisman of Indulgence, Cyclonic Rift, Mox Diamond, Mana Crypt, Swan Song, Professional Facebreaker, Tainted Pact, Phantasmal Image, Mox Opal, Diabolic Intent, Bloodstained Mire, Chrome Mox, Chain of Vapor, Imperial Seal, Demonic Consultation, Flooded Strand, Cabal Ritual, An Offer You Can't Refuse, Pyroblast, Polluted Delta, Gamble, Training Center, Felwar Stone, Misty Rainforest, Dark Ritual, Blood Crypt, Mistcast, Luxury Suite, and Appear Into the Abyss, deciding to stop there. With Geist Wave back on the stack, Sean casts Red Elemental Blast targeting Geist Wave. Ristic triggers and Cal draws. Red Blast counters the original Geist Wave. Then Noah double flips for Kark, choosing copy. Geist Wave is copied and targets Dockside. Dockside is bounced and Noah draws. Sakashima double rolls and Noah chooses copy again. Then Geist Wave is copied, Noah bounces his Mox Diamond, and then Noah draws again. He recasts Dockside, paying for Ristic. It enters and he creates seven treasures. He casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Kark, Sakashima, and Ristic trigger. Count draws off of Ristic and Noah double flips, choosing copy. The copy resolves, bouncing his opponent's non-land permanence. Then he double flips, both come up heads, so he copies it again. His opponent's non-land permanence are bounced, uh, again. <laughs> then the original Cyclonic Rift resolves, really sending the message that his opponent's non-land permits need to be in their hands. He recasts Mox Diamond, discarding a mountain. Unfortunately, he didn't draw the cards he needed and has to pass the turn. During his upkeep, Cal removes a suspend counter from Mystic Remora. He draws and plays an exotic orchard. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Snapcaster Mage. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Ancient Tomb. He casts Finehorn Elves. He follows it up with Llanowar Elves. He recasts his commander, Malcolm, Keen Eyed Navigator. He taps his Fire of Industry to help recast Ledger Shredder. He passes, discarding to hand size. Sean draws and recasts his Mana Crypt. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Verdant Catacombs. Ledger Shredder triggers and Cal Knives, discarding Professional Facebreaker, giving Ledger Shredder a plus one plus one counter. He plays an Emergence Zone. He casts Esper Sentinel. He recasts Seaborn Muse. He recasts his commander, Thrasios Triton Hero. He passes. Sean untaps with Zane through Seedborn Muse. Zane draws and casts Mox Diamond, discarding Bloodstained Mire. Esper triggers and Sean draws. He casts a Mana Crypt. Shredder triggers and Cal Knives, discarding Swan Song, giving Ledger Shredder a counter. He casts Mox Opal. He follows it up with a Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Dockside Extortionist, creating seven treasures. He casts Mana Vault. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Imperial Seal. He casts Jeweled Lotus. He recasts his commander, Malcolm, Keen Eyed Navigator. He casts Glenhorn Buccaneer. In response, Sean activates Emergence Zone. In response, Zane casts Dark Ritual, adding three black. He casts Cabal Ritual with Threshold, adding five black. Then the Emergence Zone activation resolves. Sean flashes in a Training Grounds. In response, Zane casts Pyroblast, targeting Thrasios. In response, Sean pays two life to help cast Mental Misstep, targeting Pyroblast. In response, Zane casts Miscast, targeting Sean's Misstep. In response, Sean casts Worldly Tutor. In response, Zane casts Swan Song, targeting Training Grounds, which is still on the stack. In response, Sean casts Flusterstorm, with five copies targeting Pyroblast and the rest at Swan Song. In response, Zane casts an offer you can't refuse, targeting his own Swan Song. With nothing else, Swan Song is countered, Zane creates two treasures, Flusterstorm counters Pyroblast, Miscast counters Misstep, Worldly Tutor resolves, and Sean fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the top of his library. With Training Ground still on the stack, Zane casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. In response, Sean taps his Waterlog Grove to help cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing Waterlog Grove. In response, Zane casts Tainted Pact. It resolves and exiles from the top of his library until he reveals a Force of Will, putting it into his hand. He casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, targeting and countering Crop Rotation. Still in response to Cyclonic Rift, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Dockside Extortionist into his hand. Then Cyclonic Rift resolves, bouncing his opponent's non-land permanence. Then Training Grounds resolves. With Glenhorn back on the stack, Sean flashes in a Mana Crypt. Then Glenhorn finally resolves. Sean asks Kalanoa if they actually wanted to, you know, help out at any point during that whole debacle, and they both shrug and said they didn't want to take all of his glory. 
Zane attacks Cal with Glenhorn. Cal takes it, and Zane creates a treasure through Malcolm. He presents a loop of activating Glenhorn, pinging his opponents, drawing and discarding, and creating treasures through Malcolm. He tells this until the table is dead, and Zane wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congrats to Zane on his amazing win. It is not often you have to work this hard for a win. He fought so hard against his opponents in an intense counter war. He showed just how powerful timing on the stack can be. Zane bided his time throughout the game, appearing as a non-threat until it was too late. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.